tip-off goes to the Clippers. So a look at the starters for the Pacers. Redick passes to Paul. It's blocked. That's really stellar work from Hill. He takes pride in his defense, a lot of pride in how he defends, especially getting to shots. His timing is really exceptional. Pass to Turner. Here's West. Launches a three. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Barnes passes to Griffin. And Griffin slams it in. And that's on the defense right there. Griffin is too good once he gets the positioning he wants. George outside. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. Boy, I like the fact that's intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be in their face all night long. First quarter of play, a minute in. Pass to George. Five to shoot. Let's it go from deep. Hits the three-pointer. It's a big part of George's game, the three-point shot, and for good reason. I mean, he's a sniper out there. Hill against Paul. Down low. Outside Barnes. Now Paul. Griffin, a screen on Hill. Here's Paul. Paul with another miss. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. Pass to West. Now here's Hill. Beyond the arc. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Just enough of a shot contest to bother. Redick with it. And it's Hill picking him up now. Griffin, a screen on Hill. Back to Paul. Shot on the wing. And the jumper is good. How about that? Reddick showing the same kind of accuracy on that pass as he has on his three-point shots, which is quite remarkable. That's how you drop a dime, though. Here's West. Up top, George. Marked by Reddick. Paul with a steal. Into the lane. Good work defensively by Hill. Indiana on offense. They trail by one. George against Reddick. Six on the shot clock. Takes a 13-footer. Rejected by Barnes. Reddick on the wing. Ball against Hill. Outside Barnes. The three ball. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul, one of the very best passers in the game, and he gives it to you right on time and on target. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Outside, Hill. They set the pick over Paul. Here's West. Good on the 13-footer. We know West is very comfortable in the mid-range, and he prefers to attack you from that area. Pass to Griffin. Jordan with it. Here's Paul. Driving inside. And there's Jordan on the assist from Paul. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Outside, Hill. George outside from the arc. Barnes with the rebound. The Clippers in the lead. Griffin finds Jordan. Oh, ripped away. Fires it. George's shot is good. George has got five now. This right here, whew, this is how you want to play the game. With passion, with energy, just great hustle play right there. Now here's Reddick. Yet to see a basket. Griffin in the post. 
banked it in off the glass. At this stage in his career, Griffin brings with him a deep arsenal of moves inside. Now George. He's got five. Pass to West. Here's Hibbert, covered by Jordan. George with it. Four on the clock. That doesn't go either for George. George has gone just one for four from deep. Here's Paul. And again, it's the Clippers converting. Paul's got such a fluid shooting motion. From the moment he lets it go, everything about it is smooth. Hill, the pass to Turner. Here's West. It's George on the wing. Nails it from three. Give him eight points now. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Paul finds Reddick. And here's Griffin. Barnes in the post. George defending. Reddick outside. Barnes passes to Jordan. With his first shot attempt. Again, the Clippers score. Boy, the catch and shoot shot doesn't get any better than that. Reddick on the money ATM time. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. So both teams making some changes here. There's a minute 54 left to play in the first quarter. There's a screen. Driving in. Watson. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Well, you look at Hibbert. When he's in motion like that, rolling off the screen, I think he's much harder to defend. Collison passes to Hollins. Pass to Crawford. Jacks up a three. Buries it from three. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Outside, Hill. Williams with the screen. Goes up at the stripe. Collison with a rebound. To the paint. Here's Griffin. And Griffin slams it in. Such confidence as a passer. He hits guys in stride. It makes it look easy. Outside, Hill. Fifty seconds left to play in the first. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. And it's Paul with the ball for the L.A. Clippers. Eight-point game. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Let's see if they want to go two for one here, Grant. Hey, looking at the clock, I'd say yes. Watson. Indiana again missing. On offense, here are the Clippers. Out to the right wing. Here's Dudley. Sinks the tray. And now an 11-point Los Angeles lead. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard. And they are landing some haymakers now. Pass to Watson. And stolen by Paul. In transition, here come the Clippers. Here's Crawford. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Crawford's got five now. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers in command with a 13-point lead at the end of the quarter. They put in work down low, getting in close and scoring in bunches. Back to the game after this break.
We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. Boy, quite a position here for the Clippers to be in. What do you guys think? Well, it's simple. When you can dominate the boards at both ends, you can control the second chance touches. And, you know, their rebounding advantage has been glaring, simply outworking them on the boards for that entire first quarter. And it's the Pacers with the ball, trailing by 13. And Indiana looking at who they've got. We've got Jan Mahimi. Johnson is out there with George. And it's Watson in at the point. Clock at six. The three. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. And whenever Watson gets the rock beyond the three-point arc, you can't allow him any space. I mean, this is a guy who can make you pay from there. Here's Crawford. Shoots over George. Crawford, no good. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. Outside Johnson. Pass to Watson. Here's Mahimi. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. And you know he's finishing when he gets that close. Count it. Here's Granger. To the left side wing. Now Paul. Let's a floater go. And it's good on the lay-in. Paul's got six. The teardrop. Man, he does it so nicely. But six feet tall, that might be stretching it a touch. It's a shot that Paul has had to master, and he certainly has. Now here's George. Give him eight points now. Pass to Watson. Shoots over Paul. The Clippers grab the miss. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. You know, at the end of the day, size does matter, especially on the glass. Here's George. Rebounded by Turkaloo. That's going up against a defense that knows your tendencies. Paul looking over the floor. And that one's good. Now four for ten. You know Paul is looking for these shots, and as the defender, you have to be anticipating this. Outside Johnson. Here's Watson. Back to Johnson. Pass to Watson. Takes a three. And Johnson is good for three. Fantastic pass from C.J. Watson. He knows his role on his team and embraces it. Here's Granger. Quarter number two and around three minutes gone by. Paul with it. There's a screen. Let's go with a three. The offensive rebound. Here's Crawford. Knocks down the long chain. Give him eight. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. You know, when he has the ball outside like that, that's exactly the kind of D they need to play on. Now here's Paul. Defense is right there. Count it. Paul's got 10. Paul knows exactly which angle he wants to take on that shot inside. That just comes from great awareness. Watson passes to George. That's tipped. Pass to Mahimi. Shoots from the block. That went off the back iron and out. Now Los Angeles with it. Here's Turkaloo. Right side, Paul. That won't go either for Paul. And so it's Johnson with it. He brings it up for the Pacers. It's a 14-point game. From down in the low post, it goes. Johnson's got five points now in the quarter. Not much resistance from the defense. Easy play that time for him. Here's Crawford. George defending. Four.
for three. Crawford, no good. Outside Johnson. In transition here come the Clippers. And that one's good. Oh. And the Clippers lead by 14. All right, guys, a breakdown here of the hustle stats for the Clippers. Well, you know, they've been aggressive on the defensive end, and it's paying off for them. Quite a few takeaways for them in the early going. Another area where they've excelled has been pushing it on the break. They're really getting after it. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. When high-level prospects like Victor Wembanyama. <laughs> to Watson here's Hill he got a piece of it Griffin still possessing such incredible timing shooters have to be careful when he's on the prowl here's Crawford uncovered and he connects with a jumper Crawford's got five points now in the quarter got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's Hill, still without a bucket. And there's a pick. Oh, rejected by Jordan. Hey, you know he's around, and that's what he does. DeAndre Jordan throwing that shot out of him. Redick outside. Barnes passes to Jordan. Here's Watson, marked by Reddick. Pass to West. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. They'll pin that one on DeAndre Jordan. Yeah, West, one of the true professionals in the game. A savvy forward, a bruising big guy with a nice touch. Loves the mid-range game, and... Boy, he brings championship mental focus to any team he plays on. First one falls for him. The Pacers making a switch here. George is checked in. Second free throw, no good. And the Clippers have possession. Here's Redick. The shot off that time. Ooh, nice D from George. Outside, Hill. Pass to Hibbert. The Clippers grab the miss. Jordan's got his sixth rebound on the night. Redick outside. Now here's Jordan. Griffin on the wing. Check by Hill. Shot clock at five. Jordan, the pass to Redick. Fires for three. Kicks it out to Barnes. Here's Crawford. He's got ten. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Clippers. Jamal Crawford. And he drops the first. Oh, 
so he gets them both. And so it's Indiana with it. Trailing by 17. Pass to Hibbert. Turner with it. He's scoreless. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Jordan's got a rebound number eight here already in the game. The three from Barnes. The putback. It's good on the putback. And the Clippers lead by 19. Well, I like how Jordan embraces his role on this team. I mean, it's all about rebounding and putbacks for him at the offensive end. Now here's George. Give him eight points now. Three-pointer. Fires in the triple. George has got 11. And George typically capitalizes well off any pick-and-roll situation. Oh, oh, it's good! Are you kidding me? Oh, Big my time. goodness. That's how you beat the clock. Whoa! The heave to beat the buzzer. Whew. That's an impossible shot, man. Even when you don't have the clock to worry about. Hmm. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Clippers ahead, up 19. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. They've got Griffin, J.J. Redick out there with Chris Paul. Then there's Barnes, and it's Jordan in at the five, down low. That's Doc Rivers' five as we get into the second half. Now Los Angeles with it. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin of the game. Paul passes to Jordan. And the layup is good off the glass. He's got six. Jordan's size and power make him a real hard cover around the rim. Pass to Hibbert. George outside. Shot from the top of the key. And that basket makes him five for ten. Steady production so far. Right there, Wes used that ample frame of his to open up space for the shooter. Solid screen. Outside Paul. This one for three. Jordan, the pass to Griffin. Now Redick. Pass to Griffin. Six to shoot. Nice shot from the wing. Griffin's got eight. The mid-range isn't usually one of Griffin's spots as a shooter, but when he's confident, he can knock it down. Hill the pass to George. Ball against Hill. And there's the whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First Shooting for Indiana. George Hill at the line for two. First one falls. So he picks up just one from the line that time. 
How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambling. George left side. Pass to West. And the ball out of play. The Clippers will have it. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Superb anticipation on that rejection. And that will allow them to stay on the lead if they keep defending like that. And so it's Paul who brings up the ball for the L.A. Clippers. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. And slam up by Jordan. Boy, Jordan is an alley-oop specialist, a big target with strength and bounce. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. You can see the coach very displeased with their defensive effort on the glass. They're giving up a bunch of second-chance points. They got to get that corrected. Right side, Paul with a steal. And it's the Clippers on the break. Here's Barnes and the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And Indiana called for the foul. I don't think there's any player in the league that provides more grit and toughness than Barnes. I mean, he's a rugged forward who makes contributions at both ends. down the first one and he can't hit the second now the Pacers on the move. George against Reddick. Outside, Hill. Pass to West. Just five on the clock. George outside. Launches it from deep. The Pacers again can't hit. And the Clippers with the ball. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 23 points. And again, it's the Clippers missing. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Oh, and the shot goes. George doing a nice job driving with physicality there, seeking out that contact. Hill against Paul. Outside Barnes. The three is up. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Paul's got six assists in the game. Hey, I'm stating the obvious here, but he was very comfortable taking that shot. Not a defender in sight. Now here's George. 15 points in the game. Plenty of space. That doesn't go either for George. Almost too wide open there. That's like a warm-up jumper for him. Back to Redick. Outside Paul. The three is up. The rebound by Hibbert. Hibbert's got his fifth rebound in this one. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Good on the bucket. George has got six in the quarter. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Tries to break his ice. 
And it's Paul getting it to go. You know, Paul's got that tenacity you like to see in an offensive player. Not going to shy away from taking that shot. And here is Hill. To the wing on the left. Here's West. Back to Turner. Over Barnes. Turner, no good. They're enjoying a sizable lead. And what I like, B.A., they haven't stopped pressing the issue. Now here's Jordan. Not a lot of room. Pass to Barnes. Three-pointer. Drills it from deep. Barnes has got ten. You know, big guys like Jordan who can facilitate are really valuable. Spots the open man and gets it right to him. Here's George. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's... Paul passes to Reddick. Back to Paul. Outside Barnes. Takes the three. Rebounded by West. George feels it out a bit. From 12 feet, a jump shot is good that time. George has got 19 points. And it's really obvious that George has put a ton of time into improving his hand. I mean, you never know what he's going to do with the ball in his hands, and most times, it's pretty good. Watson, he's checked in for Indiana. Substitution on the court. Pass to Jordan. Here's Crawford. He's got 15. Just four to shoot. He drops it from range. He's got 18. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. And the Pacers call time here. And it's Indiana's ball. Watson passes to Scola. A minute 50 left in the third quarter. Here's Turner. Basket's good. That is how you use the shot fake, folks. Boy, this could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. Screen by Griffin. Here's Reddick. Pass to Griffin. Hill with the steal. Here's Watson. Marked by Reddick. From 11 feet away. And it's Watson missing. Watson's gone just one of five from the floor. Griffin passes to Turkaloo. Here's Crawford. Checked by Hill. And here's Griffin. The ball's knocked loose. Hill with the steal. Now here's Turner. Defense right on him. 50 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires it from 18. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Griffin's got five rebounds tonight. Here he goes. Here's Turkaloo. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on George Hill. Hey, because of Hito Turkaloo's versatility and size, it's hard to defend him without fouling him. Two shots. Two shots. First free throw is good. 
Plays big at the forward position now. Turkoglu bullies his way around the floor like few others. Both teams will make substitutions. And so he's able to get one of two. And Griffin gets it to go. Always with good instincts on the glass, Griffin finding a way to impact this game. Smith outside. We've got 22 seconds left in the third. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First personal foul, second team foul. Shooting for Indiana, James Smith taking two shots. And he makes a first. He's perfect from the line this time. 16 seconds left in the third. Here's Crawford. 18 points for him. No good from outside. Here's Watson. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And as we conclude the third, pretty much a blowout here. It's been a one-sided affair. Clippers ahead, running away with it. And time to step away quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. And here are the Clippers now. And the Pacers looking at who they've got. We've got Paul George. And it's Mahinmi in at the center position. Pass to Turkoglu. Here's Granger. Over to the left wing. Crawford. And a miss there on the triple. It's George on the wing. Tries to spin move. Here's Jones. Back to George. Pass to Jones. Scola, shot is good. Great timing and coordination. He lays it in coming off that pick. Here's Collison. Oh, and he nails it from the high post. Collison's got his first bucket in this one. Collison showing good concentration there. Never took his eyes off the target. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Here's Scola. Another shot. And he lays it up and in. Scola's got four points in the quarter. Making the most of that possession. Unwilling to give up on the play. Out to the right wing. Crawford passes to Hollins. And the bucket is good. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Now here's George. Driving to the basket. And George with the jam. Look at how high George gets off these drives to the hoop. Banging it down with the violence of a madman. Here's Crawford. Here's the pick. 
to the inside. Oh, what oh, you oh, say? Oh, my oh. goodness. Come on now. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Just rising up to the rim. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he does. That's what we call helium. Yeast rising and helium floating. You know, that was an excellent play right there. Using his strength to power through contact. That's exactly how it should be done. Get the bump, concentrate on the shot, and you'll get the bucket too. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Here's Crawford. Blocked! Trying to attack Roy Hibbernland. His timing impeccable. And the Clippers making a change here. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. And so it's Williams with it. He brings it up for Indiana. Pass to Watson. And there's the screen. Inside. And he converts the layup. George continuing to become a better passer. That's one area that's clearly improved over his career. Here's Crawford. He takes it in. The Pacers pull it in. That's the shot you hope for right at the rim. Just couldn't capitalize. George passes to Hibbert. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Shot clock at six. Here's Watson. Makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. Boy, you've got to have a certain comfort level when you see Watson running pick and roll sets. He's an excellent leader, and he always seems to make the right decision in those situations. Here's Crawford. Pass to Turkaloo. Here's Collison. Here's Dudley. And the Clippers miss again. George outside. Down low. Here's Hibbert. Soft touch off the glass. And, and the huge big body of Hibbert helping him make his presence felt inside. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. All right, time now to present our new balance player of the game, Chris Paul. Boy, his ability to penetrate in this one has really been something special, making the defense really look helpless as he was able to get inside time and time again. Not that it's easy to stop a guy with his ball skill and agility, but boy, did he make it look easy. And you know, this home arena really appreciates this guy, and it's clear that he takes pride in playing his best in front of them. Unfortunately for them, they're reeling at this point. So true. Very little going their way right now at either end of the floor. Barnes a screen. Pass to Griffin. From nine feet out. Ooh, he's been flawless tonight. Now he's six for six. And it's the Pacers with the ball. They've given up just eight points in the fourth. Here's West, defended by Griffin. Shoots a fadeaway. Griffin pulls down the board. Griffin's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Now Paul. Pass to Griffin. Jordan with it. Turner covering. Got a piece of it. Oh, stolen by Turner. Let's it go. Barnes with the rebound. 
One side has dominated tonight. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job of imposing their pace and style of play. Paul passes to Barnes. Now here's Jordan. Outside Barnes. Six on the shot clock. The kick out to Paul. From downtown. Outside Barnes. Pass to Paul. Shoots over Hill. That's good from Paul. On the assist from Barnes. You really got to admire how Paul gets these hard shots to fall. He's got great concentration and creativity in traffic. Now here's Hill. Here's West to the left wing. They set the pick. Here's Turner. And the jumper is good at the free throw line. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You got to be tougher defensively. Here's Paul. Jordan, the pass to Paul. Here's Griffin. Misses the baby hook. And here are the Pacers now. Right side Hill. Pass to George. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. J.J. Redick picks one up. Well, when you shoot it as good as Paul George shoots it, it's hard to stay down on his shot fake. Uh, it's really remarkable how he gets defenders to bite on it more times than not. That's good from George. You're not going to find many better two-way players than George. He gets after it at both ends every night. And the Clippers going with a whole new group out there. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And the Clippers with the ball. It's an 18-point lead. Collison passes to Turkaloo. We've got 113 left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Crawford. There's the triple. Pacers with a rebound. Left side, Davis. George outside. Back to Davis. Here's Watson. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Here's George. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Yeah, it's really hard to distract Paul George when he goes into a shot. I mean, even though the defense is there uh, and made the obvious foul, it doesn't seem to bother. Smith, he's checked in for Davis. The free throw is off from George. And here are the Clippers now. Ranger passes to Crawford. To the middle. Pass to Davis. Blocked! Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Kicks it to George. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. I like the intensity that George plays with down inside. It's really what earns him a lot of these calls. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. hits them both there's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter here's Crawford so a 
that's the Clippers winning this one easily. A clean win, and one where they clearly showed better energy. Yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA, brought to you by 2K Sports. Now our new balance player of the game, Chris Paul.